All right, so um, I guess I'll start by asking, uh, you were committed to West Virginia originally, then you flipped to Penn State. Um, what prompted you uh, to make the decision uh, to go to Penn State instead of uh, WVU? Um, well, when I got the chance, to, I heard from Coach Franklin and Coach Trapwine uh, Tuesday of last week. Um, it, it shocked me a little bit because I have always wanted Penn State. Um, you know, West Virginia was great. Um, it didn't, they didn't, they didn't, um, there wasn't any way like they treated me bad. It was a great time. I loved the coaches, uh, coach Ryan Nealon. He did a great job. Um, I just felt that at Penn state, um, I could see myself in the future playing there. I felt like I fit the system. You know, I, I built this, or I could see this bond being built between uh, myself and coach Troutwine. Um, and I, I just liked my scenario a little bit better at Penn State, and that made really ultimate uh, made my decision a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, it was a little close to signing day, which was a little stressful. But um, I, I think I, I know I made the right choice. Yeah. So you said you fit Penn State system. Uh, what do you mean by that exactly? Um, I feel you know I sat down with Coach Troutwine in his office. Uh, for about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. And I, we went through what he, how he teaches, um, what his concepts are. And um, I like how he coaches and how he teaches his, his offense linemen. And I see myself being able to um, excel in his program. Um, and that, that makes me feel like I fit in the program or his, his style. Um, Cause you know, every coach has their own way of teaching and own own technique and I like the way he teaches his so um that, that's basically it awesome so um obviously as a walk-on coming into a team that's going to have a lot of four-star and even some five-star recruits uh you're going to have uh, kind of that uh I guess underdog label um is that something you're comfortable with and is that something that you feel you've had in your football career before if that makes any sense uh yeah I'm, I'm extremely comfortable with that um I, I think I got started with the college, getting, you know, college name, like going to colleges camps and stuff really late in the game. Um, you know, I started working out with the center of uh, the University of Kentucky Center, Drake Jackson, since I was 14. Um, and he's known as an undersized center. He was all SEC. He went to the NFL at six foot two, 290, 200, 300 pounds. Um, I learned from him that it doesn't matter what your size or what your status is. As long as you're willing to go in and work, you can make a name for yourself. And um, as a preferred walk-on, I'm going to have to work, and that's all I know what to do. You know, I started in Kentucky. Um, I got this opportunity at a uh, great school, Taft. Um, but knowing that I've never been in the Northeast that far, I don't know anybody there. I knew I had to go in, and I had to work for my name. And uh, I ended up, you know, finishing with – um, all NEPSAC, which was a great accomplishment. But, um, you know, all I've known is how to work. Um, and I'm excited for, for what's to come at Penn State. And I'm ready to, ready to work. All right, awesome. So uh, Coach Troutwine, obviously, you talked about him earlier. Um, he had uh, a pretty respectable college career playing at Florida, being on a national championship team uh, with Tim Tebow and Urban Meyer. So how much do you think his success as a player in playing the offensive line, I could help you down the road being that he knows obviously what it's like to play at a high profile college football program like Florida and be successful there. Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, his background, you know, he's a young coach. He's been in everybody's, everybody that's in this room, he's been in the same, same place. Um, being in this high level program, I think it just helps the bond with the players a little bit more. Um, knowing that he's been through the highs and the lows of a college team and he knows how to fight the adversity. Um, but also I think he's, you know, being younger, he's able to build this, this better bond. Um, Cause he's a little bit, he's more knowledgeable about what's going on in the like younger ages. But I, I, I think coach Trout is a, uh, is a great coach. What I've known him and I've been to camp with him and I've learned already some from him. And I'm really excited to be with him and everybody else in the room. And I can't wait for summer ball. Awesome. So uh, how much have you uh, communicated with uh, Coach Franklin? Uh, with Coach Franklin, you know, when I met Coach Stacy Collins on last, or last Tuesday, um, 
literally Thursday morning, he followed me on Twitter and he um, hit me up. And since then, uh, I've been in almost constant contact with him uh, basically every single day. You know, today was his birthday and I wished him happy birthday and he immediately got back to me. Um, and the same goes with Coach Troutwine. Always constant communication, you know, quick with responding. Um, they communicate very well. Yeah, so um, I was looking through your 24-7 page a little bit. Um, I saw that Columbia was on your list of colleges. So I take it from that that you do pretty well um, on the academic side, being yes. that you were eyeing up the Ivy League, um, I guess you could say. Yes, yes. Um, academically, I go to this, this top 10 academic school, private school in the country. And, you know, it's schooling isn't easy there. So it kind of gives me a, a leg up on some of these, uh, the college aspect of schooling. Um, uh, I, yeah, I'm, Ivy League was great up until the point where um, I, I wanted more. I wanted to prove myself a little bit more and I wanted to play at the highest level I could. And uh, yeah, that's what brought me to West Virginia originally and now Penn State. How much do you think Penn State's reputation for academic success within the football team going way back decades with uh, the whole, obviously, the success uh, with honor motto, um, being that you uh, do very well academically, how much did that kind of play into your decision to go to Penn State, being that it has a good reputation for academics um, and athletics mixed together? It was a, it was like one of the top things I was, I was considering because I'm getting into physical therapy, kinesiology. And having that um, that that master's program that is really respected in the nation, like it just makes me feel like, you know, getting this degree, it'll be able to hold up when getting a job because they're like, oh, Penn State, he he learned from the best, so he can get you can have this like this job is a little easier to get. Um, and you know, the athletic side, you know, I've been a Penn State fan basically my whole life, so I I know that we could win we could win a championship at Penn State. We just got to be able to work together and, you know, get, go get that. So, yeah. Yeah. So this um, recruiting class has obviously uh, been uh, very touted um, for months now, uh, finished number six in the country, according to 24 seven sports, uh, drew R, Nick Singleton uh, names. You obviously know um, how much does it excite you to be a part of that in a class that really could be the start of a shift for Penn State football in a positive direction after um, the past few years um, have been um, a little disappointing? Um, it's really exciting. It's really exciting uh, being able to, you know, play in the Big Ten and finally, you know, be at the top again. Um, I think it was 2017 or 2016 was the last Big Ten championship. And I, with this class, I, I think we could win, you know, two, two or three more Big Ten championships possibly getting into college playoffs and, you know, see if we can go all the way. Yeah. So you said you've been a Penn State fan uh, lifelong. Uh, what are some of your memories um, just of the program uh, growing up watching it as a fan? Um, you know, I remember, you know, 2011, 2010, when Coach Paterno, when he was put down as a head coach, you know, that was one of my biggest memories because that's when it really started and really understanding Penn State's program. Um and then going from there, I was able to have a chance to go to the Big Ten Championship that I mentioned against, uh, what was it, Wisconsin um, in Lucas Oil uh, Stadium. Uh, that was another one of the biggest memories I have of Penn State football. But, you know, just watching um, Coach Bill O'Brien up to uh, Coach Franklin, just growing the Penn State program and just seeing how they, they react to what happened in their the downfall of, you know, Coach Paterno's career. Yeah, so uh, how many times have you been uh, in Beaver Stadium? I actually haven't been able to because when, oh, okay. uh, you know, playing football, I went from playing Fridays and I living eight, nine hours away, you know, playing a Friday night game, then getting up to having to go maybe a noon game or it didn't really add up. And then when I went to Taft, I play on Saturdays. So I never got to go to a game on my Saturday schedule there. So I haven't been, you know, I've watched a ton of games. But um, I've been on my visit on Sunday. It was my first time stepping into the stadium, and it was amazing. Beaver Stadium is gorgeous. Yeah, so um, obviously a dream of yours uh, would be to uh, end up becoming a star at Penn State then play in the NFL. If it doesn't happen that way, if you kind of leave football behind after college, uh, what are some things you could see yourself uh, doing um, after school um, to further yourself? 
Um, you know, physical therapy, like I mentioned before, that's going to be a big thing in sports medicine. You know, begin be able to like give back to players who are trying to do the same thing I was trying to, um, get and be able to get back on the field and continue their dreams of possibly getting to whatever highest level they want to get to. Um, yeah, that's that's what I really want to do. What above all else excites you about going to Penn State and what the next few years could have in store for you? Um, you know, I'm just really excited to be on campus and getting with the team because uh, what I when I was there on Sunday, it seemed that Coach Franklin and Coach Troutwine have this huge family, like family is a big thing in, in Penn State football and um, just being a part of this like brotherhood that it builds and having like lifelong lifelong teammates and possible like uh, just the alumni. It's all, it all just seems to match up with me. And uh, I'm just, just really excites me to be on campus and be a part of that traditions. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.